Foundation is proud to present Dividing Decimals. Start out with some important vocab that you will need to know throughout this lesson. A decimal is a part of a whole. A decimal point is a dot that separates whole numbers and parts of a whole. A divisor is a number you are dividing by. The dividend is the number that is divided by the divisor, and the quotient is the result of any given division problem. Familiar with the vocabulary, let's go through the steps of dividing decimals. First, set up a division problem with the divisor on the outside of the box and the dividend inside the box. Move the decimal point on the divisor to the right to make it a whole number. Move the decimal point on the dividend to the right the same number of places. Move the new decimal point up to where the quotient will be. Divide as usual. Since we now know the steps to dividing decimals, we can try some examples. First, we will try 2.5 divided by 0.5. Move the decimal over on the 0.5 to make it a whole number. Then, move the decimal in the 2.5 over the same amount of places and bring it up to the line. Next, divide as usual. 5 can go into 25 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 minus 25 equals 0, so your answer would be 5. Our last example is 2.4 divided by 0.6. First, we'll move the decimal on 0.6 over to the line to make it a whole number. Then you move the decimal on 2.4, the same amount of spaces, then bring it up to the line. Then divide as usual. 6 can go into 24 four times. 6 times 4 equals 24. 24 minus 24 equals 0. So the answer would be 4. And now you know how to divide, divide decimals. decimals. Thanks for watching another wonderful presentation by Triple AE Productions. Have a nice day! And here's some cool random facts. If you have three quarters, four dimes, and four pennies, you have one dollar and nineteen cents. You also have the largest amount of money in coins without being able to make change for a dollar. The most money ever paid for a cow in an auction was one point three million dollars.